want to show you some tips and tricks with your chart and some settings and just give you a good overview so you could use your chart effectively. So over here to the Solix, again, this will work. These settings are universal. If you're using a different brand, you'll still be able to use these tricks. Um, first thing I want to show is the green line, one of my favorite things. This is the drift extension line. This is showing me where my boat is drifting. Makes it so much easier when I'm setting up a drift, I could bring my boat to a standstill, you know, meaning I don't have any momentum from the outboard motor. Right now we're just drifting and I know my drift line. So if I'm trying to hit a certain waypoint and drift over it, I could do that. Um, that's telling me where the boat's gonna be. Um, next thing is gonna be on the top menu up here, we're gonna go to heading up um, we could set this chart to north up, which is uh, which is what you'd be looking at. Like if you were on a, looking at a paper chart, north north up and um, allows you to set your drift up more effectively. I usually use this when I'm trying to hit precise drifts. When I'm driving and navigating, I'll usually go back to heading up. This is totally personal preferences. Um, so either way that you want to set this up is is totally um, acceptable. Um, obviously, I have my track lines, which are going to be important to either uh, duplicate my drifts or if I'm using that to navigate home. Um, I'm able to move my cursor around if I wanted to select the waypoint um, off the chart, you know, and obviously I could zoom out, you know, and scroll around my chart. But if I wanted to select a waypoint to navigate to, that's pretty easy. I would just uh, bring my cursor where I want to go, select go to and go to cursor. Um, if I wanted to mark a waypoint there, I'm also able to do that. Now, most likely what we're going to be doing, if you're on an area where you're catching fish and I want to make a waypoint, I'm going to just select mark waypoint and that's going to create a waypoint. If I want to change that waypoint and edit it or delete it, I could tap that and I'm able to give it a different symbol. So a lot of times what I'll do, if I find something that might be dangerous when I'm coming back later at night, like let's say there's um, there's a uh, no wake buoy that's not on the GPS or there's a, a, a tree that's stuck in the water that's not gonna move and I wanna note that, I could come in here and go to navigation and I could put a skull there. Um, I could change the color of it too to make that stand out. So I may go to a, um, a black as something dangerous. If it's a fishing spot, I may make all my fishing spots a blue color. Um, and obviously if I want to delete it, I'm able to delete that waypoint so I don't have unnecessary um, data saved. Um, the another thing that I like to change with this is I, I went to the uh, the vessel icon. I like to make a smaller vessel icon. This is just personal preference. So I went to uh, my vessel and I'm going to go to boat icon. And it's going to give me different icons that I can use. Um, I went with the smallest boat icon um, for my chart. That's my preference. Um, yeah, the biggest thing here, the most important thing to know with your charts is going to be your chips. Uh, if you're running a Navionics chip, which I'm running, and you're running sonar charts, you're going to double tap your menu, and you want to go to <coughs> select Navionics. So I'm selected on my Navionics. If I had a Hummingbird chip or I wanted to use the Lake Master chart, I would go and select Hummingbird. But I want to be selected to Navionics. And um so i have all my sonar charts on here right now so if this is too cluttered for me and i have too much information what i need to do if i'm navigating and i want to declutter the screen hit my menu button go to declutter and i'm able to get rid of those sonar lines uh, for navigation purposes and then if i once i start fishing and i want to um, unclutter them, I could just simply zoom in or zoom out and all my sonar lines are going to be back um, giving me that detail. Now, when you first install your Navionics chip, if you're not 
get in those sonar lines, what you need to do is come over to chart options and you're gonna go into your Navionics settings, okay? And I have selected right here, sonar charts. If that is unselected, I am gonna lose that detail like you see right there. So if you put your Navionics ship in, don't freak out right away. If you're not getting all that detail, you have to have your sonar chart selected in your Navionics setting. I know, I think I had a heart attack the first time I put it in and, and I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting any detail and uh, that was why. Pretty simple fix. Um, again, these are just some, some basic um, settings to, to consider. Um, I wanna go over one more thing that I use a lot of and that is my Auto Chart Live, all right? So I'm gonna tap my sonar menu, I'm gonna go into Auto Chart Live. This has given me my live recordings of um, that I've taken um, in the past and recorded and it's shading uh, depth changes. So, you know, obviously you could see over here we have some uh, X on this. So we have shallower area, this is a uh, deeper area and it shades the color changes as it goes shallower to deeper. It works great on reefs when you really wanna make these humps pop, okay? Um, with the Auto Chart Live, a couple settings you wanna be aware of is gonna be your transparency right here. So I'm at 50%. Um, I don't like to be all the way at 100% because that, that's gonna potentially block out something that I wanna see. So I'm gonna be down to 50% so I can still see some of my chart information. Um, if I wanna start recording on Auto Chart Live, I come up here and select record, okay? Um, now, why don't I keep on all the time? Uh, for navigation purposes, and sometimes it, the screen is too cluttered and I, would, I just wanna turn it off. But a lot of times when I'm fishing, if I'm looking for an area that I've recorded and I wanna find the uh, humps and the deep spots, I'm gonna have that on. Um, also, one other thing to note, and you may uh, see this, is your hardness layer. If this is selected and it's all the way up, um, and you turn on your GPS, you're gonna get, we're gonna turn off Auto Chart Live and you're gonna see this, this hardness layer is gonna really um, <clears throat> block out all the information, all your um, contour lines. So with the hardness layer, if you are running that, you need to get that transparency down to, you know, maybe 50%. Um, or if I don't care about the bottom hardness, I'm gonna just deselect that and just keep my auto chart live, which is my, my customized depth charts. Hey guys, I'm Mike Roy with Andrew Ray, A Ray on camera duty. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe to our channel, Real Cast Charters. Uh, hope these tips for the GPS and your chartography and auto chart live help you catch more fish. Any questions, comment below. Let's go.